when he first came in and changed everything, you know, the first question was like, who's this? Arson who? You know, the lads, we didn't know him. There's no, there's, you can't get away from that. We haven't got a clue. And when he turned up, he looked like a blooming school professor. We were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, he, he brought in all this new regime of the, the, a different way of training, a different way of, like, relaxing, nutrition, and all sorts of different things, you know. And, and obviously, the drinking thing, he didn't just say, right, stop drinking. The drinking thing phased out because we started having midweek games a lot more. So then you can't do the Tuesday club, no, no chance. And um, but, but also, the quality and the standard that he expected in training meant that you couldn't go out for a night, a night out, and have a few beers and that, and then turn up for training because you would stand out like a sore thumb, and you would lose your place. There was no doubt about it. You know, he picked people from training as well as how good they were on match day. 